Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Today we will see moving averages. What is least square method, moving averages, semi average, free hand curve, all these th topics, it is in the last chapter. Okay, so today we will see moving averages. What is average means you know, we have already discussed in statistics, beginning chapters. Average means if 10 students are there, 10 students marks if you want to take average, 10, 10 students marks divided by 10, you will get average. Okay. So, now moving average means according to the time. This moving average comes under the time series. Time series means according to the time, we have to consider the moving average. Average also we are considering according to the time. That is why we say it as a moving average. Very simple moving average calculations. When I was a student, I used to do it happily, 10% marks I used to score. Very easy. Even school children can do this moving average. That much of easy. Just focus 5 minutes. I'll show you through a problem. Moving average. Generally, a data will be given to us. That data according to that whatever moving averages they are asking us will be calculating. Right? So now here. Uh, moving average one problem I have taken construct five yearly moving averages of students studying in a college five yearly moving average they are asking what is given to us year and number of students only this is the data given am I clear this is the data given so year and number of students they are asking us five year moving average for that we need two columns first column is five yearly total and 5 yearly moving average only two columns 5 yearly total and 5 yearly moving average how do you take 5 year moving so this is the data given to us 5 year first total we have to take then only we will get the average 5 year total means 332 317 357 392 and 402 so these 5 years total we are going to calculate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 years total. If you use the calculator, if you add up all these things, you will be getting 1800. 1800. Am I clear? So, 5 years total is 1800 we are getting. But where do we post the 1800 opposite to this middle number? 5 years now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3 is the middle. So, exactly opposite to this, we have posted 1800 moving average next five years will take the total now next five years means one two three four five five years total so this total we are going to uh, post opposite to this because this is middle is this one so if you total up all these numbers 317 357 392 402 405 you will get 1873 where we have posted middle here in the same way next to five years just subtract this one add this one five years next five years okay so 357 392 402 405 410 if you total up you are getting 1966 so this total opposite middle of the five so 1966 you got in the same way next to five years deduct this one add this one so, if you total up 392, 402, 405, 410, 427, so you will be getting 2036. This is opposite to 405 we are, we have posted, 2036, over next to 5 years. So, this total, 402, 405, 410, 427, 405, so this total is opposite to this, 2049, over next, last added 5 this 5 total 405 410 427 405 438 if you total up you are getting 2085 this is writing opposite to this 2085 and next we are not writing anything because if we remove here and we need one more number to have 5 year total we do not have so, this are last five numbers. Next number we do not have. That is the reason next to two digits we kept it blank. Am I clear? This totaling you must know where to, how to post, where to post, how to total. 
so this totaling is over then after that what we are going to do five year moving average five year moving average very simple five year average we are taking 1800 divided by five third 360 in the same way 1873 divided by 5 everything all the numbers we are dividing with 5 only so you got these numbers that's it this is moving average by the way already i have uploaded in the old series in time series freehand curve semi average so that everything is available in the statistics 2 playlist please check it out hope it is clear want to take a screenshot yes you can damn easy na? so whenever you get moving average semi semi moving average a free hand curve least square this time series chapter you have to score hundred percent by the way let me know your feedback practice well in advance before exams just you have to revise it okay stay connected check out the playlist whatever subjects are completed in our channel please use it don't forget to share this videos with cause everything is free of cost for you all study well have a bright career good luck